Coming up, Jonathan explores a cave in Cozumel containing rare marine life found nowhere else in the world. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. The island of Cozumel, just off the coast of Mexico near Cancun, is known for its crystal clear water. Divers flock to this scuba diving paradise to see healthy reefs and lots of marine life. The splendid toadfish, one of the local marine rock stars, is found around only two islands in the world. Further offshore, reef sharks sometimes sleep in caves, a behavior that has not been witnessed anywhere else. And Cozumel has something else unique in the world. This special cenote containing species found nowhere else on Earth. Cameraman Todd and I head on down to Cozumel for a cave diving adventure. We team up with our favorite local cave diving guide, Christine Lowe. Then we head on over to Aralito Cenote. It's bigger than most of the cenotes we dive. It almost looks like a pond. And it's only a couple of hundred meters from the ocean, which is one of the things making Aralito special. Even though the surface water is fresh, down deeper it turns to salt water because it's connected directly to the ocean. And because of that, it has some marine life unique to this environment. So one of the great things about Aralito is an added element of excitement. Apparently, there are crocodiles. We go over our plan. Christine has been here before, but we haven't. So we'll be following her. Then it's time to get our gear together and suit up. As we put our gear on and kick up the bottom of the algae-filled water, I try not to think about crocodiles. Once we get underwater and swim away from the silt we kicked up, we can see much better and follow Christine into a small cave opening. Due to our proximity to the ocean, the halocline is quite shallow. We pass through this swirly barrier between the fresh water and the salt water at a depth of only 20 feet. Todd and I follow as Christine runs a reel from the entrance back to the permanent cave line. The permanent line starts pretty far from the entrance to discourage open water divers from following it. It takes a while, but eventually we find the permanent line and Christine ties in. Even this far in, the greenish tint of the algae-filled pond water persists. Then we find something spectacular. Hey everybody, have you subscribed? You know we only put out like one episode a month, so you're not gonna get a lot of notifications from us. So just hit the button. A cave brittle star. This species of brittle star is found nowhere else on Earth except this one cave. Like many cave adapted organisms, it has lost much of its pigment and it can detect the presence of light. This survival skill causes the brittle star to run from my flashlight. 
As I look around, I realize that there are quite a few of these brittle stars, all running from our lights. But here's the most amazing thing. Aralito is the only cave in the world known to have cave-adapted sea stars. But it's not just this one species of brittle star. There are actually three species of sea stars in here, and I'm hoping to find all of them. Our search takes us deeper and shallower, at times getting shallow enough to enter the halocline again. But we know the sea stars all live below this depth in the salt water. So we travel further into the cave, taking a passage that goes in the opposite direction as the ocean, traveling further inland, seeking deeper passages. But the cave never gets very deep, and we stay close to the halocline, not the most likely place to find our elusive sea stars. Finally, a crack that drops deeper into the salty layer below the influence of the tides which cause the halocline to rise and fall. Christine scours the walls of the cave with her light, casting an experienced eye for cave life. And then we swim down another crack even deeper. Now we're really getting into the realm of the unknown. We end up in a dark tube with odd dark colored limestone and a gravel bottom. There are almost no speleothem formations. It's a spooky place. Soon we start seeing signs of ocean life. Little orange sponges dot the walls. We press on, watching our limited air supply and pushing deeper into the cave. I watch the floor of the cave carefully as we go. At last, a white splotch that looks like another sponge, but the pentagonal shape gives it away. This is one of the rarest sea stars in the entire world, a cave-adapted type of asteroid similar to one seen on reefs around the Caribbean. But here in Aralito, it has lost all pigmentation and lives entirely in the dark. What it eats is not known. And we struck gold because right nearby, the monster of this cave. Copidaster cavernicola. This large sea star, reaching about a foot across, is also a cave-adapted relative of a deep water species seen in the ocean. But unlike the others, this sea star hasn't lost all its pigmentation. That may mean that it hasn't been long enough to fully adapt. Give it another 200 generations over a thousand years and we'll check back. Having found our three species of sea stars, we turn and make our long swim back towards the entrance. Plastic line arrows always point the way out, so we know we're going the right way. We pass fields of brittle stars on a sandy section of the cave. There must be something they like to eat in or on the sand.
and we find another magnificent cavernicola snuggled up to a sponge. Sponges, in fact, are everywhere. As we get closer to the entrance, we're also getting closer to the ocean, and the water contains more organic materials for the sponges to eat. And the sponges are crawling with brittle stars. Finally, we make it back to our reel, and Christine unties it from the main line. We're back to the cavern zone where we can see sunlight streaming in. After a few minutes doing a safety stop, we can head back up into the sunlight, keeping an eye peeled for crocs, of course. How you doing? Woo! Haha! I am back from the cave! Aralito is a fascinating cenote. It doesn't really have any beautiful formations, but its location and conditions are just right for it to have unique marine life found nowhere else in the world. And, at the moment at least, it's the only cave in the world known to contain cave-adapted sea stars. You never know what you might find just exploring the depths of a small, algae-filled pond. It's another incredible wonder of the blue world. Hey everyone, have you subscribed to our extras channel, Blue World Plus? It's full of great behind the scenes and additional fun content. Check it out now.